My weird school. Fast facts. Space, humans, and farts. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter Ten. Animals. You think the human body is weird? Animals are really weird. Just the idea of having four legs is weird, if you ask me. AJ and I dug up some cool fast facts about animals. Parrots and rabbits can see behind them, and they don't even have to turn their heads around. That's because their eyes are on the sides of their heads, so they can watch out for predators that are about to attack them. The food chain isn't a chain made out of a food. That would be weird. A food chain is how energy gets passed from one living thing to another. For example, some grass grows in a field because it has soil, sunlight, and water. A rabbit hops along and eats the grass. A fox runs over, catches the rabbit, and eats it. The fox eventually dies. Bacteria break down its body. It becomes part of the soil. It provides nutrients for new grass. A rabbit eats the grass, and it starts all over again. The crowned sand grouse lives in the Sahara Desert in Africa. It may fly as far as thirty miles to find water. Some animals don't drink water at all. The desert kangaroo rat gets its water only by eating seeds, plants, and insects. Then there are camels, of course. Camels are cool. They can drink thirty gallons of water at a time. After that, they can go for days, or even months, during the winter without taking another sip. Mayflies are born, live their entire lives, and die as soon as a half hour later. Tortoises, on the other hand, can live one hundred fifty years. Termites eat wood. Can you believe that? So, if two termites go to a restaurant, they probably look at the menu and ask the waiter, "What kind of wood do you have?" I don't think termites go to restaurants, Arlo. Maybe they go to restaurants that are made out of wood. Now you're just being silly, Arlo. Do you know why geese fly in a V shape? Because if they flew in an X shape, they'd be bumping into each other in the middle. No, flying in a V shape conserves their energy. With each bird flying. Just a little above the bird in front of it, there's less wind resistance. They take turns flying in front, so none of them get too tired. Also, flying in a V formation makes it easy to keep track of and communicate with every bird in the group. Jet fighter pilots do the same thing. An animal needs six things to survive: food, water, shelter, air, a place to raise its young, and video games. Okay, I made up that last one. Animals only need five things to survive. AJ's top ten weirdest animals. One, cicadas. Many species spend seventeen years living underground. Then they suddenly come up just to freak everybody out. Two, Andrea. Three, fleas. They can jump one hundred thirty times their own height. Showoffs. If humans could do that, a six-foot person could jump seven hundred eighty feet in the air. Four, Dalmatians. As they grow up, most mammals don't change much other than get bigger. But Dalmatian puppies start out all white, and as they get older, they develop those black spots. Five okapi. They live in Africa and look like giraffes. Their tongues are twelve inches long. 
They usually use them to get leaves from plants, but they can also clean their own eyes and ears by licking them. Six. Atlantic giant squid. Its eye can be over fifteen inches wide. Seven. Hummingbirds. They can't walk, but they're the only bird that can fly backward. Eight. Cockroaches. They can live for a few weeks without their head. Nine. Starfish. They have no brains, just like Andrea. Oh snap! In her face. Ten, flies and butterflies have taste organs on their feet, so they can taste anything they land on. Try this: you can use crickets to tell the temperature. Male crickets make their chirping noise by rubbing a sharp ridge on one of their wings against the wrinkles or files on their other wing. When it's hot out, they rub their wings faster. So. You can tell the temperature by counting how fast a cricket chirps. Just count the number of chirps you hear in fifteen seconds, and then add thirty-seven to it. The total will be very close to the outside temperature. I want one of those cricket thermometers. Science is fun. Science is curiosity. We all have natural curiosity. Science is a process of investigating. It's posing questions and coming up with a method. Sally Ride. Chapter Eleven. Famous scientists. Some kids put up pictures of famous singers or sports heroes on their walls. Not me. In my bedroom. I have posters of scientists, like Albert Einstein. He was cool. If you ask me, scientists are like rock stars. They should be more famous. Here are some of my favorites. Andrea's top ten scientists. One, Galileo Galilei, fifteen sixty four to sixteen forty two. He was an Italian scientist and scholar who made lots of discoveries in physics and astronomy. Galileo came to be called the father of modern science. He was so good; he was named twice. Weird fact: the middle finger of Galileo's right hand has been exhibited at the Museo Galileo in Florence, Italy. Two, Isaac Newton, sixteen forty-two to seventeen twenty-seven. He discovered the law of gravity and the laws of motion. He also developed calculus and built the first reflecting telescope. Weird fact: He spent one year as a member of the British Parliament, and he only got up to speak once. So he could tell somebody to close a window. Three, Gregor Mendel, eighteen twenty-two to eighteen eighty-four. He was an Austrian monk who founded the science of genetics. He discovered how heredity worked by experimenting with peas. He did experiments with pea. Gross! Why would anybody want to do that? Not P. Arlo, peas. Mendel grew more than thirty thousand pea plants in fifteen years. Doing experiments with peas is pretty weird too, if you ask me. Weird fact: What Mendel really wanted was to be a high school teacher, but even though he tried teaching a few times. He failed his official teaching exams twice. Four, Charles Darwin, eighteen o nine to eighteen eighty two. He was an English naturalist who devised the theory of evolution that says that all species of life evolved from common ancestors. Weird fact: Darwin and Abraham Lincoln were born on the same day. February twelfth, eighteen o nine. 
five, Louis Pasteur, eighteen twenty-two to eighteen ninety-five. He was a French chemist who is famous for figuring out what caused disease. He coined the term vaccine and created vaccines that saved many lives. When you drink pasteurized milk, it's because of Louis Pasteur. Weird fact: He was so afraid of catching diseases that he would never shake hands with anyone, not even kings and queens. Six: George Washington Carver, around eighteen sixty-one to nineteen forty-three. He was born a slave and grew up to become a world famous botanist and inventor. Carver worked a lot with peanuts, sweet potatoes, and soybeans, and figured out how to use them to make face bleach, caramel, chili sauce, glue, ink, metal polish, paper, plastics, rubber, peanut sausage, shampoo, shaving cream, shoe polish. Face powder and many other products. Weird fact: Many people think George Washington Carver invented peanut butter, but it had already been around for centuries. But he did help make it popular. Seven, Marie Curie, eighteen sixty-seven to nineteen thirty-four. She was a Polish-born French physicist. Who coined the word radioactivity and discovered radium? She was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize, and she won it twice. Weird fact: What made her famous also killed her. She died because of exposure to radioactivity. In fact, scientists who want to study her papers have to wear protective clothing so it doesn't happen to them too. Eight. Albert Einstein, eighteen seventy nine to nineteen fifty five, my hero. He was a German born physicist who is famous for his theory of relativity. Hardly anybody understands relativity, but it has something to do with light and speed and time and the universe. Weird fact: After he died, Einstein's brain was stolen. The doctor who examined him took his brain and kept it for over forty years. That wasn't very nice. Nine. Edwin Hubble, eighteen eighty nine to nineteen fifty three. He was no relation of Mayor Hubble, who was always in trouble. But the Hubble Space Telescope was named in his honor. He was an American astronomer whose research helped prove the universe is expanding. My underwear keeps expanding. Every so often, my mom and I have to go buy some new underwear because the old ones don't fit anymore. Quiet, Arlo. This is my list. Weird fact: Edwin Hubble grew up in Missouri, but later he started talking with an English accent, wearing a cape, and walking around with a pipe to make people think he was British. Ten. Grace Murray Hopper, nineteen o six to nineteen ninety two. She was an American computer programmer who did pioneering work on computer languages. Later, she became a rear admiral in the U.S. Navy. Weird fact: She is famously associated with the words "bug" and "debug." What happened was that she was having a problem with the Navy computer. So she opened up the computer to find out what was wrong. It turned out there was a moth inside it. It was the first literal computer bug. Bonus: Rachel Carson, nineteen o seven to nineteen sixty four. She was an American marine biologist who wrote a famous book called *Silent Spring*, that played a big part. In starting the environmental movement and getting rid of dangerous pesticides like DDT. Weird fact: As a child, Rachel wanted to be a writer. She had her first story published in a children's magazine when she was only ten years old. Oops! I like science so much that I chose eleven top ten scientists. Sorry. 
Andrea's list of scientists is lame. Here's a list of my favorite scientists. AJ's top 10 way cooler scientists. 1. Gideon Sundback. He invented the zipper. If it wasn't for this guy, our pants would be falling down all the time. Weird fact. Isn't the fact that he invented the zipper weird enough? 2. Thomas Crapper. He perfected the flush toilet, and his name was Crapper. That's like the washing machine being perfected by a guy named Henry Washing Machine. Notice I put Thomas Crapper second on my list, so he's number two. 3. Dr. Frankenstein. He was a mad scientist who used a secret method to create a monster. That guy was cool. Arlo, Frankenstein isn't even a real scientist. He's just a fictional character. So are you. So na 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 boo boo. This is my list. Keep quiet. 4. William Herschel. He discovered Uranus. 5. Erasmus Darwin. He was Charles Darwin's brother. He wasn't a scientist, but I feel sorry for him. The Darwin family was probably sitting around the dinner table one night, and the mom said, Charles created the theory of evolution today. What did you do, Erasmus? And all Erasmus could say was, nothing, or I picked my nose, or something like that. Poor guy. So I put him on my list. 6. Stubbins Firth. He was an American doctor during the 1800s who didn't think that one person could catch yellow fever from another person. To prove it, he covered himself with the vomit, blood, urine, and saliva from yellow fever patients. That guy was totally nuts. 7. Nikola Tesla. He was an electrical engineer who got his start working for Thomas Edison and went on to do all kinds of weird research with electricity. He created bolts of artificial lightning and worked on an earthquake machine, a death ray, and an anti-gravity flying machine. Tesla claimed he had been in contact with aliens from another planet, and he also said he was in love with a pigeon. Other than that, he was a pretty normal guy. He also has a car named after him. 8. Ben Franklin. You may have heard that he flew a kite in a thunderstorm to experiment with electricity. What you probably don't know is that he tried to electrocute live animals. He even had people over when he tried to electrocute a turkey and ended up shocking himself instead. His electric spider experiment showed how electricity could be used to animate dead creatures. Nothing weird about that, right? Oh, and he also invented swim fins. Go ahead, look it up. 9. Bill Richards. I love skateboarding. There are lots of people who say they invented the skateboard, but Bill Richards was the first one to sell them to people. He owned a surf shop in California called Val Surf with his teenage son, Mark. In 1962, after he saw some kids riding surfboards to which they'd attached wheels, he ordered some roller skate wheels himself and began selling sidewalk surfboards so his customers could surf any time. And the rest is history. 10. My great-uncle Ernie. He discovered the law of towels.